I'm Haley, and I will be introducing you to Bluefish by Pat Schmatz. Bluefish is about a boy named Travis. Travis was with his grandpa, which is hard for Travis because his grandpa didn't really care for Travis's lost dog named Roscoe, but Travis did. Travis has moved to another home, so he had to go to a new school. As Travis goes to his new school, he meets a girl named Velveeta. Will Velveeta figure out Travis's secret? Oh yes, Travis does have a secret. Want to know more? Check out Bluefish in your school library. I rate this book 4 out of 5 stars for its most amazing plot and the wondrous dramatic characters in this book. I hope you like this book, because I did. Read it. Konnichiwa. My name is Haley. My name is Dusty. And my name is Lily. We read Drawing from Memory, the Autobiography of Alan Say. From the time he was a small child in Yokohama, Japan, he wanted to become a cartoonist, but there were many obstacles in his way. To begin with, he was only four years old living in Japan at the beginning of World War II. When Sei returned to his village at the end of the war, everything was in ruins. More importantly, his father didn't approve of arts and was against his son becoming one. Shortly after the war was over, his father abandoned the family. At 12 years old, his family agreed to let him rent an apartment by himself if he could study hard enough to get accepted in a good middle school. Can you imagine living by yourself at the age of 12? The author, Alan Say, tells his life story with pictures, early sketches, drawings, and cartoons. We rate this book four out of five stars. Because I still wanted to know what his journey was like in America. And because of how funny and entertaining his story is. And how it tells and shows how he became an artist. Sayonara. Hi, I'm Ben and I go to Trailwood Elementary. I read the book Small as an Elephant. This book is about a boy whose mother disappears while they are camping. Jack doesn't want to call the police because he is afraid he will get his mom in trouble. So he searches for her, but he has no money or a place to stay. Jack searches for four days and has many adventures. Read this book to find out if Jack finds her and if she gets in trouble. I give this book four out of five stars because it is a great book that kept me reading until the end. Check it out! My name is Emma and I go to Westwood View Elementary. I read the book Hidden by Helen Frost. It's about two girls who have a rocky background six years after the deadly incident where Dara's dad takes Ren's mom's car with Ren inside. They find themselves at the same summer camp. They're finally working out what happened six years before. I rate this book five out of five stars because it always kept me interested in what was going on. Hi, I'm Brianna and I'm going to tell you a little about my favorite book, Dragon Castle by Joseph Brucock. Dragon Castle has two stories in it. The first story is about Pavel the Good. Pavel's parents, the rulers of the kingdom, were killed when he was young. Pavel was then adopted by Uncle Thomas and Baba Marta until he was old enough to avenge his parents and send the Dark Lord away and rule the kingdom in his parents' place. The adventures he has to go through are really exciting. The second story is about the future royal ancestors of Pavel the Good. Roscoe is the youngest of the royal family. Roscoe's parents disappear right when his older brother Paulek and him need them most. Roscoe has always known that his parents and older brother aren't the sharpest pencil in the box. A great evil has come to their little castle, Lodka Vorka, to take over the kingdom. The Dark Lord is back, and Roscoe is on his own to defeat him. Does Pavel the Good avenge his parents? Can Roscoe defeat the Dark Lord without his brother by his side? You'll have to find out when you read this exciting and hilarious story. I rate this book five out of five stars for its hilarious and adventurous story. Read it. My name is Samantha and I go to Trailwood Elementary. I read the book, The Running Dream. Imagine this. Running is your life, your heart and soul. Running isn't just what you do, it's who you are. And one day you're in a horrible accident that makes you lose one of your legs. Well, this is what happened to 16-year-old Jessica. Now Jessica may never run again. As Jessica is starting to lose confidence and hope, 
a girl named Rosa who has a condition that makes it hard to understand her words and hard for her to walk comes into Jessica's life. Rosa helps Jessica regain her hope. Will Jessica ever run? There's only one way to find out. Read the book The Running Dream because it'll make you feel like there's nothing you can't do. I rate this book five stars because it makes you feel very important and lucky. I think you'll like it. Hello, my name is Sandra. My name is Ashlyn. And my name is Adaria. We read OK For Now by Gary D. Schmidt. When Doug Switek moves from New York to the small town of Marysville, his life is changed. He struggles to fit in as the new kid. When he goes to the public library, he sees a magnificent picture of the Arctic Turn by James Audubon. He tries to draw it, but can never get it right. He couldn't believe someone would buy the pictures right out of a book. Charles Palmon, the family receives a tragic letter seeing his oldest brother Lucas has been badly injured in the Vietnam War. There has been a robbery and the police suspect Christopher, Doug's brother. The kids at school find the terrible thing Doug's dad did to him, making his gym class a miserable experience. Will Doug ever be able to recover the missing Audubon's pictures? Is Christopher a thief? Will Lucas ever be the same? Read, Read this, this book, book to find out. out. We rate this book four out of five stars for an interesting but sometimes confusing plot. So, so read this book. I read The Silver Bowl by Diane Stanley. Unneeded at home, Molly must leave her family with only the clothes on her back and the silver necklace given to her by her mother. Is the necklace magical? Will it protect Molly and give her courage? Molly becomes a humble maid for the King of Westria. She, be, she arrives at the castle with no education, no manners, and a very disturbing secret. She sees visions that always come true. In time, she begins polishing the king's fine silverware, which includes one of his most prized possessions, a ceremonial hand basin. But whenever she touches it, the silver warms beneath her fingers and, swirl, and designs swirl into a vision that only she can see. A voice commands her to watch and listen. The visions tell a story of a dreaded curse that has haunted the royal family for years and now threatens the handsome Prince Alaric. Who is responsible for this curse and why did the visions appear in the silver bowl? Can the curse be stopped? Together with her friends Tobias and Winifred, Molly must protect the prince and save the kingdom of Westria. Or will a more unlikely hero step up to the challenge? This book has many surprising characters and events that will keep you reading to the book's end. I give this book four out of five stars because it is a good book but somewhat difficult to understand. Read this book. Hi, I'm Brody from Sunflower Elementary, and I read Dead in Norveld by Jack Antos. This story is about an 11-year-old boy named Jack Antos. He is grounded for the summer after firing his dad's sniper rifle. His mom hires him out to an older neighbor, Miss Folker. She is an original town member and obituary writer for the newspaper. Jack begins to notice that many of the old ladies in the town are dying. This starts a mystery including the Hells Angels motorcycle gang, other town residents, and houses being moved to another town. Read this book to find out. I rate this book four to five stars for its amazing details and I didn't want to put it down. Check it out. In the book, Take Me to the River, adventurous Dylan Sands travels all the way from South Carolina to Big Bend National Park to visit his cousin, Rio. They plan to paddle along the Rio Grande River on the Texas-Mexico border. While packing for the trip, six black army helicopters fly overhead. They warn the boys that a hurricane is coming, but the boys ignore the warning and keep going on their trip. Their guidebook tells them that they probably won't even see another person on their trip, and they don't until the storm starts to brew and they see a man called Carlos who is begging for help and a seven-year-old boy who is trembling with fear. I give this book four out of five stars because it's a mysterious adventure. 